da 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 Got another audit report here. Listen to this. We know that the IT team did not comply with the purchasing procedure of getting quotes from three different vendors. Blooming littered with sentences like this. We know this. We know that. We know the other. Who's we? The internal audit team. Why are you the grammatical subject of every blooming finding sentence? I thought it was called an audit report because it was about the business you audited. Not because every blooming finding sentence has the internal audit team as its grammatical subject. Ha <laughs> ha! Vain much? Ha <laughs> ha! Reminds me of that Carly Simon song. You're so vain! That's why you made this audit report about you. Big D's not alone here. We see hedging expressions like this all the time in the audit reports of our corporate clients. I know why you do it. I get it. You're trying to soften the soap when giving bad news. But it's counterproductive. It makes a sentence unnecessarily long. It literally adds no meaning at all. And what's worse, it weakens the finding right up itself. What are you trying to say? That somebody else might have noted something different. Get rid of it. Make the finding about what you audited. And take yourself, the internal audit team, out of the finding sentence. Follow Andy Kovach, the audit communication guy at ELC Consultants, for these fire audit communication tips. Or else... New episodes every Tuesday.